Um, last year we did 440 schools and 35 hospital reviews. Um, this past year we've done 550, so there's, there's been a big boost, bond money or something like that. But we also have been reviewers for Diablo Canyon Nuclear Power Plant and the BKK Landfill in West Covina, where they bring us in as impartial reviewers for earthquake and geologic hazard review. And uh, just a quick note here, note 48 is the checklist that um, anybody who's worked on these things is familiar with. It tells you, actually, if, if you ever want to use it as a reference on what goes into a good engineering geologic report, that, that would be the one to go to. Emergency response. Uh, Again, the 1971 earthquake, a bunch of CDMG, now CGS employees, went out into the field and started mapping fault rupture, landslides, all the phenomenon that, that gets us going. At the same time, a different group called Earthquake Engineering Research Institute sent structural engineers out there to do the same kind of thing. And in their passing, they got together and said, hey, let's get together every night and, sit, and you tell me what you found and I'll tell you what I found and figure out how we do it better. So after that, worked so well, the governor at the time said, you know, from here on out, every time there's an earthquake, we're going to have this clearinghouse, and uh, CGS and ERI are the, the primary members. So we have new partners now. The USGS is, is, is heavily involved, Cal OES, um, and a bunch of others now. It's, it's kind of grown into a very big uh, thing. So here's some uh, earthquakes that we have responded to. Um, one of the things that we're trying to do, there's going to be an exercise tomorrow where people are going to go out in the field with their smartphones, tablets, and laptops. They're all going to go into ArcGIS and they're going to collect fake sand boils and fault ruptures and things like that. And the idea is it will go um, into the cloud through um, software called Exchange Core, developed by Homeland Security, so that uh, one person can be you know, half a state away and see what the other guy collected with notes. So uh, we're, we're very hopeful that that will be the way we collect things in the future. Um, and then I um, just want to talk about the, the INSAR uh, and how useful that has been for the past several earthquakes. This is uh, an airborne um, radar sensor flown by JPL. It's called UAV SAR. Um, so they, they have been flying the state with this radar uh, in anticipation of an earthquake. And then when the Napa earthquake hit, they flew it again within a few days. I think they diverted their plane from a flight in Italy to come back here to, to do this. So where you have uh, very sharp changes in color, that means the ground has deformed significantly. So one of our geologists who had worked with this before just started drawing these lines and um, turned out that most of those were actual faults on the ground when people knew to go look there. Because a lot of times it's detecting centimeter scale deformation that you wouldn't necessarily spot unless you knew to go look there. So just for reference, this is the Browns Valley area uh, west of Napa. And then uh, the last thing, I'm, and I'll just pass it in briefing, uh, Cindy Pridmore is our outreach officer for CGS, and you may have run into her, or you will run into her at geologic and seismologic conferences. Um, she sets up a great exhibit booth, has lots of freebies, you know, the gold poster, uh, lots of publications, lots of free information on tsunamis and all these other hazards as well. Um, uh, she is putting on what we call State Scientist Day at the state capitol here. So elementary schools come bust in from all over the state, and they get to jump on the ground and set off a geophone and uh, <laughs> you know, play with volcanoes. It, it, it's a great outreach thing. So uh, Cindy's been really good for, for CGS, and I hope you get a chance to meet her at some future conference. And that's it. Oh.